Cancer Leo, my beautifuls, welcome to your monthly reading. First of all, I want to say thank you because I've been feeling really, really supported by all cusps. And it's making me feel good So and grateful. And I wanted to spend, um, to take this little seconds to just say thank you. Okay? So, welcome to your monthly reading. This is going to be for June. 2020, okay? We're going to focus this reading on love. It's a general reading, so it may resonate with everyone. You have your individual signs already up, so you can always check them for further information or for just information if you're not resonating with this one. And yeah, the rules could also be reversed, so take out what resonates and what doesn't. Okay. Oh, okay. I usually don't do it this way. But... Apparently they wanted me to do it this way. Uh, so we got prayer and release. Uh, who was it? I think it was Taurus reading that have this kind of energy which is you're manifesting something to you um it's getting ready to go to you all you need to do is just release the bad things you know create space for that that you want for that that you're manifesting to come in okay so let's see what the romance angels have to say for you We have stay optimistic about your love life. Okay. And whoops. Romantic feelings. So that could actually not necessarily be about love, but since this is a love rating, I'm going to take it that it is. Um but is that thing? I feel like all you need to do is release and everything will fall into place. You know, because the feelings are there, just just something. Possibly something from the past, uh, if you were already in a relationship with this person, or if you are, um, there's just something that needs to go, okay? Let's see what the tarot has to say. So, we already have two. Let's, whoa, wow, <laughs> okay, so for, okay, let's go back, past, you have the judgment card, so I'm getting that it's that thing, you're asking for help from the universe, from your spirit guides, you're manifesting, and you're like, you realize what you want, you're putting it out there, and yeah, current energy, you have the eight of wands, a lot of communication back and forth with this person is looking like, or just communication movement, you know? Not necessarily communication, it's just movement. And for the immediate future, you have the freaking Ten of Cups. That is the happily ever after, okay? So just know that the, the like, your dream relationship is there, okay? Your happily ever after is there. It's getting ready. It's being baked, so just wait, okay? For your feelings, you have the Six of Pentacles. The lovers, all right, and the five of swords, yeah, you're trying to create balance, but at the same time, somehow you're sabotaging this, not really sabotaging, you're not, it's like you're losing hope, I'm seeing that five of swords has losing hope, because the love is there, um, it seems very balanced, but because it's not happening right now, you're kind of sabotaging things. Or you could actually have, I wouldn't be surprised to see the devil here, uh, you could actually have some tendency to sabotage, to sabotage relationships somehow uh, with self-doubt, that kind of stuff, uh, fears, and that's what you need to release, okay? 
let's see your person's feeling we have the empress the moon and ten of wands I'm kind of getting that they are not being open and that's creating they could be a very communicative person but they are not being open about how they feel about they're not sharing stuff and that's kind of confusing to them that's kind of uh oh my god what's going on you know and that's what's creating those burdens to them um we have the empress here because they they don't have a lot of self-doubt but there is something that is kind of preventing them from um communicating their feelings okay and overall energy we have the eight of cups and right underneath the ace of cups so that is very beautiful uh you're walking away you're turning it back to something to doubts i'm getting it um and starting like you're focusing on love solely on love you know and that is bringing love to you so it's looking quite amazing. Let's start clarifying some things here. Some things. We'll see the eight o. Oh, okay, of cups. This is way too many cards. Well, hello, devil card, and hello, magician. <laughs> but I don't think it's the time for them. To be honest, let me see the eight of cups, please. Yeah. So all you could have this uh, preconceived idea that everyone, male, female, whatever, everyone is a player. Everyone is bad, you know, and you're not really allowing to trust this relationship. But with that death card, I feel like you're letting that go. You're turning it back to those beliefs and creating this beautiful energy with the two of cups somebody is very determined here um and oh my god look at this you're being the emperor to their empress you know that is a very 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 strong relationship you got going on okay um and you could actually be the one who makes the move okay because it doesn't necessarily have to be that you're a male and you're a female, but you are getting more mass, divine masculine uh, energy, and they are more with a divine feminine. Um, so yeah, it's looking like you're the one who has the determination to just go for it. Um, yeah. And I see them controlling a little bit their emotions here. But let's clarify things. Uh... Let me see that judgment in the past. Six of Wands, King of Pentacles, Ten of Swords. Um, but this is good. This is actually really, really good. Because you're realizing this Ten of Swords, this energy that is not good for you at all. Um, and you're taking care of it. You're overcoming it and becoming a very grounded um stable person okay by the way you could be dealing with the gemini pisces we also have Taurus and libra scorpio aries uh well we have a lot of things but especially Taurus, libra pisces here okay um let's see the eight of wands in a current situation <laughs> sorry <laughs> Oh, okay, yeah, great. Awesome. Hang in there. Oh, got it. So, you got the Page of Swords, the, the King of Swords, and the High Priestess. I feel like this is you um, taking the action, you know, with a lot of determination, just communicating what you're thinking, what, what you're thinking mainly. But... Um, I feel like when it comes to timing, it's going to be, <clears throat> sorry, it's going to be spot on because you're going to follow your intuition a lot and you're just like, okay, I'm done. I'm going to say how I feel and just, just be it, you know, 
um, because it's going to feel like, okay, I need to say it now, so I'm just going to say it. A lot, of, again, a lot of divine masculine, you know, just going for it. A lot of determination here. I'm really liking that, Cancer Leo. To be honest, you almost don't look like a Cancer Leo. <laughs> but I like that, you know, it's nice to, to try different things. Let's see that Ten of Cups. Oh, God, so aggressive. Okay, so th this Ten of Cups is not going to come to you just like that, obviously. It's going to be a work in progress to deal with those uh, conflicts, inner conflicts, though that, that feeling trapped in your mind. This, is, this could be especially for your person, but there is going to be a lot of hard work here. Um, and a, a lot, it's going to be a very caring relationship, I'm getting, uh, with a lot of give and take, very balanced too. Um, but yeah, it's not going to happen overnight, this Ten of Cups, obviously. Uh, it's going to be needed. Uh, work is going to be needed. Okay. Let me pull some cards for that Five of Swords. Okay, you're, you want to go out? You want to go out. Anything else? See what I'm talking about? You're so aggressive. You're not a Cancer Leo. <laughs> Just kidding. Wow, yeah. Okay, so we have a lot of different things going on here. But first thing, we have this. Hang in there. Hang in there. Let me position this. We have the Hermit, the Tower, the Nine of Swords, and the Six of Swords. So all this bad energy, all these fears and all those doubts, walking away, turning your back to it. Because you might go a little bit into hermit mode, um, like being a little bit introspective, like what is causing this fear? Um, how can I solve it? And you're, you're doing it, doing it, okay? Especially having this Page of Cups, Seven of Wands, you're taking action not only towards this person, but towards yourself. And that is quite incredible. That is looking really, really good. We also have the Four of Wands, Page of Wands, King of Cups. The love is there. So much love that you have for this person. And you want to create something very solid and stable with them. And you're not waiting no more. You're just like, I want it. I'm going to get it. Wow. This is kind of intimidating to me. <laughs> you're making me feel nervous. Okay. Uh, I want to clarify the Empress. Okay, nothing else. Yeah, come on, they have they want a relationship with you with this Hierophant, but they might seem a little bit cold, but it's only because they're protecting themselves. I don't think they know how to deal with their emotions, how to react, what to do with them, you know? Let me see the moon. You could definitely be dealing with a Libra. Um, um, so I, I feel like they definitely are having a hard time releasing something that is heavy for them. Um, so it's not only you releasing this energy of like they do have to release some burdens, all that, something from the past. Um, but they, and, it's almost like they don't want to say it um, before they figure that out. They don't want to say that that they love you, that they, you are their wish fulfillment, because you are with the Nine of Cups. Um, <clears throat> but there is something like kind of blocking them. Something from the past that they are not letting release. Okay. Ten of Wands here. Queen of Wands, Two of Wands, Eight of Pentacles. So I feel like they are making the decision to work on themselves, to work on that thing that they need to release and um, take back control of their life, okay? 
So let's put some final messages and advice for you. Messages, advice for Cancer Leo. Okay. Let's see. Okay, that's all. A lot of things, actually. Let me grab these ones. Okay. Yeah, so first of all, we have something needs to end, okay? And which is clearly the, that from your side is that the self sabotage, that kind of thing. From their side is all that burden, all those things from the past. Because both of you are worth more than worrying about those kind of things. You have a beautiful re relationship here, ready to, to grow, uh, wish fulfillment for both, and that is getting in the way. Okay, we also have belief. So it's that stay optimistic about your love life kind of energy. Ask for help. You may not be able to do this alone. I'm actually getting that you should communicate to each other about these things. About how you're feeling, uh, which again, I think you will. Um, and you may find a way to work together on... Um, on whatever you're feeling, you know, you, you're working uh, on your energy, they're working on their energy, but you're working together, and that's really, really, really good, okay? We're by your side. You could also be needing to ask uh, for help from your spirit guides, okay? And know that they are there for you. Small things matter too. Don't try to go too crazy, okay? Because uh, small steps uh, are important too. And I feel like it's what's needed here, especially for this person, because I don't think they will move super fast right now. Um, and small steps might help. We also have work that ass off. So you may need to work out a little bit. Um, but I'm actually getting that it's more in a therapeutic way. Okay, working out or doing some sort of physical exercise might actually help you a lot. Okay. So, Cancer Leo, this is what I have for you. Have an amazing June. I hope this resonated and helped somehow. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye-bye.